we can limit the number of people who get seriously ill. With new coronavirus cases, North Carolina's governor declares a state of emergency. A lot happening tonight. We'll break down what happens next under the governor's new order. And Wake County schools taking action. Educators hope will keep your kids, teachers, and staff safe during the coronavirus crisis. But we begin with Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live in Raleigh. And Michael, the recommendation state leaders making is it just varies depending on where you live in the state. Right here in the triangle is where we've seen all of the positive cases so far. So the governor is encouraging employers here in this region specifically to allow people to work from home as much as possible. The emergency declaration he made today is statewide as well. So it has some other steps in there meant to happen in response to the disease. That declaration does several things. It eases some restrictions on transporting supplies so they can get where they need to faster. It gives people in charge of emergency response and health departments more flexibility in their budgets. It also triggers the price gouging law to go into effect and encourages insurers to make testing available for free or at a reduced cost. We do want people to take this seriously, but we also want them to go on living their lives particularly those who are not in the higher risk group. We just need them to do it wisely. Health officials are encouraging people across the state who are high risk, meaning 65 and over or have underlying health conditions, to avoid large groups. They also want people holding events to be lenient on refund policies. The governor says he would still go to events like the ACC tournament because he himself is not considered high risk. He and other health officials in the state have been saying that they're trying to be understanding that people want to go about their normal lives as much as possible. And for now, that's why they're focusing their recommendations just on people who are considered high risk. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.